In the previous lesson, I explained about the two types of the cell division, such as mitosis and meiosis. In these two types of the cell division, the nucleus of the parent cell divides to produce the daughter cells. Somatic cells divide by mitosis to produce two daughter cells. However, reproductive cells divide by meiosis to produce four daughter cells. Okay, let's we come back to today's lesson that is regarding mitosis. Before a cell divides by mitosis, the cell should go through the cell cycle. Therefore, in this session, I'm going to explain about the cell cycle, the importance of the mitosis, and M phase. Phases of the cell cycle. Cell cycle is a series of events that take place in a cell in which the cell grows until the cell divides to produce their daughter cells. The cell cycle consists of two phases such as interphase and M phase. The interphase classified into three subphases such as G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. G1 phase is first gap in which the cell undergoes the growth. The second subphase of interphase is S phase in which the chromosomes duplicate, then followed by G2 phase. G2 phase is the second growth phase in which the cell prepare for the cell division. The cells undergoes growth throughout these three subphases of interphase. However, the chromosomes duplicate only during the S phase. The cells spend most of the time in interphase stage. However, just short period of the time the cell spend in M phase, M phase or mitotic phase. Mitosis is a process of cell division in which the nucleus of parent cell produce two daughter cells. The two daughter cells are genetically identical to their mother cell. The daughter cells also have the number of the chromosomes same as the mother cell. Mitotic cell division is important because it increases the number of cells for growth, repair and replace the dead cells, and also it is a basis of asexual reproduction of unicellular organisms. M phase or mitotic phase. M phase consists of two phases such as mitosis and cytokinesis. Keep in mind that cytokinesis is not the stages of the mitosis. Mitosis consists of four stages such as prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. This is the overview of M phase. Okay, now I'm going to do a demonstration regarding the movement of the chromosomes during mitotic cell division and cytokinesis. But before we watch the video, I have a few questions for you. Do these questions after watch the video to recall back the lesson. Okay, let's we watch the video regarding the movement of the chromosomes during mitotic cell division and cytokinesis. Mitosis is a process of nuclear division in which they consist of four main stages such as prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. A cell before they divides by mitosis or meiosis, they should undergo the interphase stage. Interphase stage is one part of the cell cycle. Cell cycle consists of interphase and emphase. Interphase consists of three subphases such as G1, S and G2. Then followed by M phase. M phase consists of M mitosis and cytokinesis. Therefore, mitosis is one part in M phase of cell cycle. 
okay before i demonstrate about the chromosomes movement during mitotic cell division let me explain about the interface first during the interface stage the cells undergo growth chromatin starts to replicate chromosomes duplicates then the two centrosomes form by duplicating one centrosome each of the centrosome consists of two centria okay then uh, this is the structure we call as ester ester is a array of short microtubules that extend from centrosome okay during the interface stage also the chromatin surrounded by nuclear envelope and the chromatin is less condensed and invisible it means the chromosomes can see clearly okay so remember interface is one part in cell cycle that is not the stages of the mitosis but the cell should goes through the interface before they divides by mitosis okay let's we look at the first stage of the mitosis that is prophase stage during the prophase stage the two centrosomes will move toward the opposite poles of the cell while the two centrosomes move toward the opposite poles the mitotic spindle extend from the centrosome this is mitotic spindle then the nuclear envelope that surrounds the chromatin starts to disappear then the chromatin condensed into chromosome now the chromosome is visible okay so this is a structure of the chromosome in which they consist of two identical sister chromatids and these two sister chromatids attach at a point called centromere okay so this is the first stage of the mitosis that is prophase okay next is metaphase stage during the metaphase stage the all the chromosomes will line up along the metaphase plate metaphase plate is the middle of the cell okay so before the metaphase is prometaphase during the metaphase the centrosome move toward the opposite pole during the prometaphase it means before the metaphase the mitotic spindle attached to the kinetochore of the sister chromatids and the chromosome starts to move toward the metaphase plate but this is metaphase stage that is the second stage of the mitosis in which all the chromosome line up along the metaphase plate or middle of the cell okay next is anaphase stage the third phase of the mitosis okay, during the third phase of the mitosis the centromere that links two sister chromatids will breaks then cause the sister chromatids move toward the opposite poles of the cell
sister chromatids move toward the opposite pole, the movement of sister chromatids due to the kinetoco microtubule. Kinetoco microtubule shorten and pull the sister chromatids toward the opposite poles of the cell. Okay. The fourth stage is telophase. During the telophase stage, the mitotic spindle depolymerizes. The sister chromatids completely at opposite poles of the cell. Nuclear envelope reappear. This is the last stage of telophase. Okay. Telophase followed by cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is not the stages of the mitosis, but for a cell to complete the cell division, they should divide by forming the cleavage furrow in animal cell or cell plate in plant cell to separate into two daughter cells. So during the cytokinesis, cleavage furrow form in animal cell. And then the cell completely divides into two separate daughter cells. then the chromatin is less condensed. So cytokinesis is the process in which the cytoplasm of the parent cell divides into two daughter cells. The differences of mitosis in animal cell and the plant cell. In the animal cell, cleavage furrow form during cytokinesis, but for the plant cell, cell plate form during the cytokinesis. And then another one more difference is the animal cell have the ester and the sensual, but the plant cell does not have the ester and sensuals. Next, mitosis takes place in meristematic cells for plant. For the animals, the, the mitosis takes place in somatic cells. Thank you and see you soon.